Word, 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 word. Let me, uh, I think I minimized something here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, so we'll get this going. We'll get it going. Uh, I appreciate you for joining me, for sharing your time this beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, and as you'll see, uh, we're going to be going through a series of trainings uh, regarding the attractive trader, which if we had to do like a subtitle, it would be um, manifesting your desires of trading. Uh, or uh, using the law of track, uh, the law of attraction to manifest your desires with with your trading. So, with that being said, of course, um, this is being recorded. And again, I appreciate you for sharing your time. You could have been doing something else, uh, and uh, I, I respect that you um, you you are on. So, we'll we'll be together for about an hour. Um, if you were not in training yesterday, we are going to make some modifications to the training schedule. Um, I got some feedback regarding the trade critiques with some of you guys being outside of the U.S. Um, you were saying that I got I got a couple of emails with people saying that Saturday was a little bit inconvenient. So um, for this is for our Pips Plus members. If you were not in attendance on the trade critique yesterday, um, we will be moving that to Thursday. Okay, so what that will look like for you guys is Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Just to accommodate, because here's the thing. I mean, right now, while we're less than 100 members, it's a lot easier for me to, um, to rearrange the, the session so that it accommodates the, um, the bulk of you guys. And with that being said, too, I mean, as we're growing, I do believe that um, it's important that we're accommodating in that sense where we have to find the best day to make it happen. And so we'll test out Thursday and see how Thursday goes. And from there, of course, we'll make necessary adjustment, uh, adjustments. However, of course, the trainings will be continue to be recorded and all of that. So, and I, I, I meant to send out an email about that yesterday, I did not. So um, you guys will receive that in an email as well, okay? so. A little housekeeping out of the way. Let's get started with our declarations, okay? Um, knowing that when we come together, I think of you guys as as family, and uh, for me, it's always important that we're on the same page uh, and we're in harmony. And so that's what these declarations allow us to do. It allows us to uh, recenter our minds, recenter ourselves, and know what just to get that focus energy strong. All right, so declaration number one, today I embrace abundance as my birthright. Today I embrace abundance as my birthright. Number two, today I elevate my prosperity consciousness. I elevate my prosperity consciousness. Number three, I am attracting success through my daily actions. I am attracting success through my daily actions. Number four, I am a richly endowed expression of an opulent universe. Number five, today I see myself experiencing greater success. Number six, today I move from prosperity to prosperity. Number seven, I am in harmony with the natural vibration of the universe now. Number eight, there is enough, I am enough, I have enough. Number nine, I dare to prosper right now. Number 10, my financial income cannot be limited now. Number 11, I am now magnetized to the energy of money. Number 12, today I open my mind to prosperity. Number 13, earning money rapidly is becoming easier for me and I am doing honest work. Earning money rapidly is becoming easier for me and I am doing honest work. Number 14, day by day, I am becoming a better trader. Number 15, I trade to trade well. I trade to trade well. Number 16, 
I expect my trades to go into profit. Phew, just fly into profit. Number 17, I am eliminating past fears and replacing them with renewed faith in my abilities. Number 18, okay, number 18, I am open to profitable opportunities in the market right now. Number 19, today I make great trading decisions because they are made with my full consciousness. Number 20, today I totally and completely cleanse my mind for prosperity. And number 21, today I remind myself to be grateful, to be grateful. Um, prosperity and the idea of cleansing our minds for prosperity. Um, have you guys ever tried to, um, let, me, let me put it this way, because I, I got my coffee cup here, right? I got my coffee cup here. I don't know about you guys, but I have a favorite mug. This one is my secondary mug, right? Um, but let's just say this was my favorite mug. And right now it has a little bit of coffee, probably about that much in there, right? Uh, however, let's just say I left that coffee in there on accident and I came back a couple days and I was looking for it. This is my favorite mug. I wanted to put some more coffee in there. The interesting thing is that unless I cleanse this mug, <laughs> this mug unless i cleanse this mug <laughs> unless i cleanse this this uh this cup if you will um the residue of anything that was in that cup prior to me wanting that fresh cup of coffee is going to remain and then it's also going to be mixed in so i won't be getting a fresh cup of coffee i'll actually be getting a a blend <laughs> of uh leftover coffee, tea, whatever was in there, juice. And so I said that to say that with the idea of pr uh, prosperity and the idea of abundance and the idea of attraction, uh, what's important is to not neglect the part of cleansing and what role that really plays in propelling us towards the, the, the desires uh, or our desires, the desired end result is what I was going to say. And so the cleansing process is a process that's often missed. Um, and if you think about that same instance, what we tend to do is with our goals and our dreams and I, our desires, we tend to think that um, putting them in the cup, eventually just keep loading them up in the cup will deliver us the desired results. And then we'll We'll take a sip and we'll say, mm, this tastes weird. Uh, and that's because we haven't fully understood the process, the, the principle of cleansing, cleansing our, um, our minds, right? There are some things that we learned along the way that we were taught that may not support your current goals. It may not support your current mindset. It may not support where you are uh, physically, mentally. Uh, and with that being said, it's important that we understand and, and appreciate uh, the principle of cleansing that out of, out of our lives prior to getting a fresh cup of coffee. So I said that to say, um, cleansing our minds for prosperity is allowing us to remove the old ideas uh, that we had about what prosperity was. We know that prosperity is more than just money, right? We know that. So um, that's one that I would say for, for the theme of today, for our training today, the attractive trader using the law of attraction in your trading, that's one I would really encourage you to grab hold to uh, because there are ideas that you may have about your, your dream life right and then in the background there may be a little bit of residue that needs to be cleaned out before you can start to naturally manifest um, the desires of your heart so let's talk about the attractive trader 
let's talk about the law of detraction, detraction, the law of attraction. Um, how many of you guys have seen, how many of you guys have seen The Secret? Let me open up the chat box on another, on my laptop. How many of you guys have seen the movie, The Secret? I'm gonna be switching back and forth because I got you guys on this one and I got my um, chat box over here, so. Okay, so a few of you have seen The Secret. Or let me just ask you this, how many of you guys have heard of the law of attraction? Let's just abbreviate, law of attraction. Okay. Okay, so some of you guys are familiar with it. Okay. So what if I told you guys that there was a part of the law of attraction, a part of the secret that was like, there was a bigger secret that was left out. Uh, and that's where we're going to base our training today. Um, and you can think of it this way. Let's say, let's say you came to my house and I baked you some chocolate chip cookies. And he was like, damn, T, these cookies are fire, right? He was like, how did you make these? And I was like, well, I can give you the recipe for these cookies, right? And you say, okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, so you enjoy the cookies at my house. And then maybe a couple of days later, you're at home and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to, I'm going to make me some chocolate chip cookies with the recipe that T gave me. Now, you got home you bake the cookies according to the directions that I gave you. And for whatever reason, they just didn't, they didn't come out right. Right. It, 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 you weren't able to, to make them taste the same. Right. And no matter how hard you tried, the same feeling, keep that word in mind, the same feeling that you got, from eating the cookies that I prepared for you at my house was a, it was a different feeling when you got home. And I said that to say that what I've learned and what I'm continuing to learn is that what we understand about the law of attraction, there's just something missing from the recipe. And that something that's missing um, is the cause of frustration. It's the cause of why you've been thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm using the law of attraction. I'm using it, I'm doing, I'm following exactly what I was told to do. Why am I not getting the results that they said I would get, right? And there's because of that one thing that was left out. Um, and it's the same way with the recipe um, as it is with the idea of the law of attraction. Now, let me just back up because I don't wanna assume that everyone understands the law of attraction. And then I also want to, um, we're going to tie this in to your trading. So definitely stick with me because there is a connection here. Now, the law of attraction, if we had to describe it simply, um, you could say that there is a magnetic power that, uh, that you send out that brings to you um, the, the vibration that you, you're sending out. So case in point, if you're sending out um, thoughts of black, or if you're sending out thoughts of plenty, regardless, the law of attraction states that whatever you send out is what you'll receive, right? Um, so as it relates to the attractive trader, with the Forex market, we understand that most people, <laughs> unless they're just strange, most people that come to the Forex market are wanting to do one thing, right? I, I, I want to see if you guys can guess what this one thing is. Uh, I, I believe that when every single person, <laughs> be it a, a bank, a financial bank, or um, a individual retail trader, they all have a common objective, which I'm, I know you guys are going to guess this right off the bat. 
Exactly. Yes, Santana. Make money. That is the goal. That is the goal. Make money, right? Earn money. Um, extract money, right? And so in that, in that um, experience, what we begin to understand is that money, if we really look at the word money and we look at the function of money, and then we took it to just a different level mentally, we could say that money is currency. And you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's a currency, right? We're trading the foreign exchange currency market. Yeah, we get that, right? But what is a current, right? What is a current? The way that you're watching this particular training, you're using elect electricity that's a current right and if we take that idea of money being a currency one step further to say okay well if it's a current right if it's a current it's an energy and if money is an energy and if the law of attraction states that what we send out, what we magnetize in our thoughts and our ideas is what we receive in return, then we have to, we have to then question what is our attractive thoughts or detractive thoughts towards the idea of money, right? Towards the idea of money, uh, and specifically in trading. Now, I don't want you guys to think that the only benefit for the, the law of attraction is in, in acquiring money. Um, in fact, <laughs> earlier I was talking to this lady and we were just sitting down having a good conversation and she was telling me about her being from uh, Oklahoma, right? And I was telling her, which first time I met this lady, right? I was born in Oklahoma. I was born in Oklahoma and for the past four to five weeks, I have been saying, I need to go, I need to go to Oklahoma. Don't know why. Like, I cannot tell you guys exactly why I've been having that thought. However, you guys have experienced this and I know that you can relate to it. When you put a thought in your mind constantly, right? When you increase your awareness of a thought, uh, you'll begin to see it happen in different instances. So that that could mean for me meeting this lady that was from Oklahoma or driving down the road and seeing a, a car tag that had an Oklahoma license plate or something like that. And so I said that to say that the law of attraction is bigger than money. The beautiful thing about us using the law of attraction is that we're starting with a holistic approach by really focusing on the thoughts that we're sending out. And when we put the focus on, okay, well, what am I thinking, right? What am I believing? And then that secret that was left out of the recipe, what am I feeling, right? Um, Oftentimes in trading, we're taught that you're taught to take emotion out of it. And my comment to that is always, well, we need the emotion of confidence. You need the feeling of confidence in order for you to even execute a trade, right? And so because of that, we need, or I encourage us to start focusing on what is it that you're really thinking? What is it that you're really feeling? Because here's where the law of attraction, I believe in my experience has been, it's been, it's been packaged in a certain way, right? No, nothing wrong with it. It's just, there is that one ingredient that's left out of that cookie recipe, which if you've seen the secret, you'll see that they talk about thoughts create your reality. In the middle, there's that feeling, right? there is that feeling of worthiness, there, there's that feeling of expectation, there is that feeling of uh, 
love or whatever the feeling is, there has to be a feeling of love mixed in to that, that recipe because without it, you will continue to get conflicting results. Your thoughts may be one thing, right? Subconsciously and consciously, we don't have to get into that right now. Your thoughts are one thing, your results are another, and you're really frustrated with, why, why isn't this shit working for me? Like, I've been thinking about this, I've been thinking about this, I've been thinking about that, but it's like, what are you feeling, right? What are you feeling? And so the incorrect way, I'll say, is that we were taught to focus on the desired results. And so I said that to say, like, consider this. Um, if you, let's say you want a new car. If you sit around all day and you just focus on the new car, sure, it'll come. However, with my experience in life, what, I, what I'm more interested in is learning how to manifest things with ease and quickly, right? And so the idea of focusing on the desired outcome being, i.e. the car, yes, ultimately it will deliver the car to you. And I would say that that's almost the incorrect way to use it. A better way, and you, you don't have to take my word for this guys, I, I've been studying this stuff for three years and I'm still learning. However, what I've learned here recently is that the better way to use this powerful natural law is to focus on the feeling, right? Focus on the feeling because it's not about the car. It's not about the house. It's not about the money. It's about how that is ultimately going to make you feel, right? Um, let me, let me just ask someone like, I need someone to tell me what is their major desire right now? Just, and I, I mean, I know I'll get a few. I just want one person. I'm going to pick one to see what's your major desire right now. I think my, my oven, oh, that's my timer. Yeah, it'll be all right. That's just gonna have to be because I'm not gonna go down there and turn it off. Okay, so let me get some answers pulled up here. Okay, all right. Okay, so I like, well, I like them all. Here's one. All right, so six figure Forex trading account. Okay, so your major desire right now is to have a six figure uh, Forex trading account. Why, and I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, Corey, why do you want that? What's one of the reasons why you want that? Okay, so um, he's saying because he wants financial freedom, okay? Hold on. I'm going to go with you. I'm taking notes while we're doing this. Okay. So because you want financial freedom, why do you want financial freedom? Okay. So you can travel. Okay. Take care of your family. I got you. Travel and take care of family. Okay, hold on. And why do you want to travel? And why do you want to take care of your family? Okay. Okay. Because, okay, so wait, let me make sure I understand. So you're saying it, it would make you feel. Okay, so it would make you feel like as a man, you're doing what you're supposed to do, 
Okay. And I mean, that, think about it. What, what we just said, we went from financial freedom to you feeling like your, um, your potential as a man would be filled or you would feel a certain level of confidence or a certain level of uh, freedom in a sense. And so we moved from having a six figure account to really determining that ultimately what you're after is a feeling of freedom, right? It's a feeling of, of self, it sounds like self-determination, self-worth, and all of those great things. And so back to the, uh, the original statement is that what I'm beginning to learn is focusing on the desired feeling. How would you feel if you had the six-figure trading account? Because that, my friends, when you begin to focus your energy and your thoughts on the feeling that would come after your desired result has been achieved, that's going to draw it to you even faster. And I tell you guys this with humility, and I tell you this with, with knowing personally. This is not something that I've read in a book. I read it, and I, I didn't believe it. And the thing about it is, is that you don't have to believe it for it to actually work for you. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen where when I made the shift, very important, when I made the shift of focusing on how would I feel if I were to be in a winning trade? How would I feel if I were to be in a trade that goes against me? Even that feeling is a feeling that we have to deal with, right? Um, how would I feel were I to earn enough to, to grow my account to six figures? How would that really make you feel? And that's the feeling, right? Essentially, it's like if you have this piece of paper, if on this side was your, your, um, your thoughts and on this side was the desire, you're folding time against itself to bring that to you faster, okay? And so um, what I encourage you guys to do is to really really consider how are you using your beautiful brain power as it relates to the results that you're getting because sometimes sometimes we look at our results and we say dang i gotta change my results man i, I haven't closed out a profitable trade in three days man i keep getting stopped out we're looking at the results right and dare i say that if we go to the other side, okay, because the results are the fruit, if we go to the root, then there is a connection, right? There is absolutely 100% of the time a connection, even if you don't want to acknowledge, right? Even if you don't want to acknowledge somewhere down the line, you had something to do with it, recognizing that you are responsible, it's your life, and it, it wouldn't be in your life if on some level you weren't attracting it. And I, I say that respectfully, right? I've been in situations where the last job that I worked, they fired me, right? I, I attracted that. I know I did because I knew I was sending out thoughts of um, them letting me go. I was sending that out. And even when I knew that I was sending it out, <laughs> I, it was like, I was like, dang, T, you need to change this. But it's like, no, nah, I know they're going to fire me. And guess what? They did. Like, not to say that I didn't give them a reason because I don't believe that I gave them a quote unquote, I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't, I don't feel like I was the type of person that's just like chronically late. Like I wasn't like disrespecting people. It's just, um, I made a mistake. Right. And so because of that, I was in my mind attracting that based on the thoughts that I was keeping. And so I said that to say that sometimes we look at the fruit and we want to blame the fruit. Oh, they fired me. They suck. They're a terrible company. The manager sucks. No, no, no. T. like something in your vibration, something in your, your, the current 
going back to the idea of currency, something that you were sending out caused that to be in your experience. And let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys this. Let me tell you guys this. Whether you call it God or energy or ether or um, universe, uh, this is not a religious conversation. This is actually, it's, it's more um, psychological than anything, spiritual than anything. Um, the, the universe is always asking you, what do you want, right? And we answered that question through our feelings and our thoughts. And so if we at any point have a thought and we have a feeling and they don't line up, the stronger energy is going to win. Now, you as a trader, have you been in a trade where maybe you thought you did your back testing, you was like, I know this one is a winner, and then you got in that trade and somewhere between you getting in that trade and closing that trade out, you started to doubt, you started to feel, feel, right? You started to feel like it was gonna go, you was gonna get stopped out. You started to feel like the market wasn't gonna go in a certain direction. And that feeling was a lot stronger, right? And because of that, you got stopped out, right? And so it's um, Lisa Nichols, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, she said one of the most powerful things that I could ever um, relate to anyone. She says that when you get the tongue in your head and the tongue in your shoe going in the same direction, right, until you get both of those aligned, you're going to be all over the place. And so we'll take that a step further because the tongue in your head is only speaking the thoughts that you're keeping, right? And so that makes me wonder, what are you saying about your trading, right? Not even out loud, but what are you saying to yourself? Are you saying, oh, I'll never get this, right? Are you saying, man, I just keep losing? Are you saying, man, I can't figure out how to grow my account? Whatever you tell yourself, uh, whether it be out loud or um, mentally, or feeling, right, physically, whatever you tell yourself, you'll continue to attract into your life. And because of that, I encourage you guys to really just consider what it is that you really desire from your trading, right? We, we had uh, Corey share that his ultimate desire right now is a six-figure account, right? And I can tell you all day, Corey, I believe that you can achieve that, right? I believe it from the rooter to the tutor, which is a Southern term that my parents would say. I, <laughs> I believe that in my soul. I believe that in my, in my heart, right? However, if you don't believe it or if you have any conflicting ideas, if the tongue in your head and the tongue in your shoe aren't lining up, then you won't have it or it'll be a struggle to get it. And if I've learned anything about um, growth and development, self-development, it doesn't have to be hard. It does not have to be hard. Our life can be simple. Not only can it be simple, but our lives can continue to just get better and better and better. We can just keep getting happier and happier and happier. And you're asking yourself, okay, well, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I, how do I do that? Um, and so as we progress with the um, attractive trader series, um, we're going to, we're going to talk about um, specific steps, right? On how to manifest and how to work the law. Because here's the thing about the law, right? The law of attraction. Let's use something that everyone can, everybody agrees with this one law, the law of gravity. Everyone, most people believe that if you jump off of a building, 
you're gonna go down, right? Most people agree with the law of gravity 100% of the time. Now, when we say law, we recognize that if it's a if it's a law, if it's a law, then it's unchangeable in a sense, right? And so I use that as it relates to the law of gravity. The law of gravity does not care who the fuck you are. The law of gravity does not care that you volunteer on, on Saturdays at the local youth club and you give to the charitable organization that's, that's creating sustainability in third world countries. If you jump off of a building, the law of gravity will drop you every time. It will drop you every time, right? And because of that, um, we have to recognize that these laws, they're gonna work with or without us, regardless. It's gonna work. The law of attraction is working for you right now. And you may say to yourself, I don't like what it's doing. And that's okay because you can change it. It's the input. Our minds are extremely powerful, more powerful than we could ever realize. And one of the things I always, I like, I like to sit around and think about like things that just blow my mind. When you're up in a plane and you look down, um, and maybe some of you can relate to this. When you look down and you look at the buildings and the cars and specifically if it's at night, it's so odd that the buildings and everything that's on the ground almost looks like the inside of a computer. Like, I don't know, the next time y'all take a flight, think about that. Think about, like, look at it because it's like, man, why does this look like a computer, right? And, and when I think about a computer, I, I'm always, I'm so intrigued by, by um, just technology in general, because if, if, <laughs> if a man, person, woman created a computer, right, that must mean that the mind that created that thing is more powerful, because the mind that created that thing had the foresight to be separated from that thing to see it at a different at a different level at a different perspective and so when we begin to separate ourselves from some of the thoughts that we've kept about ourselves about our results and we get a higher perspective on those thoughts we begin to see well hey it's possible i can take that out i can put this in i can I can take this out. I don't need that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have thrown that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, we have the power, the responsibility, and the duty to really critically look at what's there. Okay, look at what's there. And if we don't like it, we can delete it. We can delete it. We can take it out. We can deny it. We can, we can discharge that current, that energy by focusing on what it is that we truly, truly desire. Now, let me um, go through, because I had a couple of notes here. Um, the other thing about the law of attraction, and um, this is one thing that I noticed, is that there is this emphasis on um, Thinking big, right? Uh, which is great. I, I believe thinking big is the right way to do it. There's a frustration that comes when you think in a capacity where we haven't yet expanded our beliefs. Um, for instance, I can think of uh, like three years ago when I was coaching one of my my sales guys. Um, he would he would come in with a sales goal and then he would talk himself out of it. His name was Steven. He would say, well, I really want to do 75 units, but I know that shit not possible. So let's say 35, right? And it's like the idea of thinking big works. However, 
if you don't have the capacity of belief for that big thought, then you're sending the tongue in your head and the tongue will issue in a different direction. And so the reason that I said that is because when we're focusing on what it is that we truly desire out of our, our Forex uh, endeavors, our Forex efforts, our Forex trading, it's important to start where you are. Think big always, start where you are. What's the next direct thing in front of you, okay? And I'm not, be, I'm not beating up on you, Corey. I'm just going to use this example, okay? Let's just say you also wanted a, let's just say, let's give it a number, right? Let's say you wanted $250,000, 250 grand in your account, right? Now, you have to ask yourself, and this is for anyone, it's not necessarily specific for you, sir. Uh, <laughs> is it possible, right? And yeah, our natural optimism says, yes, it is possible. Is it, do you believe that it's possible for you, right? And I'm busting your balls on this because I believe it's possible, right? And you could also on a surface level believe that it's possible. But if there is anything in you that says that you don't deserve it, if there's anything in you that says that's impossible, even if it's a small voice, you gotta, you gotta look at that and say, well, where is that coming from, right? Um, and I said that to say that starting where you are, sure, your goal could be, let's say your goal is 250, right? Starting where you are means that the next step in front of you, because keep in mind, guys, our life is, is, is to be unfolded, right? It's to be unfolded. And so, um, the next step in front of you is maybe your, maybe your account is at, let's say your account is at 25 grand right now. So the next step may not be, and I'm not saying it's not possible. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is to minimize your frustration, your capacity of belief has to be expanded. And so starting where you are, but keeping your focus on bigger pictures, however, just going as far as you can go where you are. It's gonna build up the momentum, uh, which is a part of the cycle of success. These are all things that we're gonna get into more uh, over the next few weeks. So I said that to say currency, right? Vibration, thought, energy, starting where you are, understanding that you have the power to change, to take out, to modify, to delete, to replace. You have the programming power to design the computer the way that you desire it to be. Um, recognizing that you have limitless potential, recognizing that what you're really after when, it, when you boil down to it is a feeling. And if we could focus all of our energies and efforts on that desired feeling, um, it's going to make you feel happier and happier and happier. And that's one of the most incredible feelings, waking up and saying, it's almost like, it's almost like um, your birthday. You have this expectancy, like it's going to happen, right? And the more that you implant that feeling of that desired outcome, right? That, that six figure account to create that financial freedom, to allow you to travel and take care of your family because you feel like as a man, that's your duty. Um, getting that proud feeling as a man, that's your duty feeling right now, right now is gonna cause time to fold on itself and to bring you the results that, that are, are a natural demonstration of that feeling. Um, it's, it's almost like a light, it's like, how bugs are attracted to a light, right? It's like when you increase that flame, okay, there are more things, bugs, whatever, <laughs> that are gonna be attracted to that flame, right? And the bigger you can get that flame, which you can look at this positive or negatively, um, the bigger you can get that flame, the, high, the harder it is to be able to put that fire out. You know what I mean? So no one's going to be able to put that fire out if it gets too big. It's going to require too many people. 
They can be like, what's up with what's up with that dude? Why are you over there smiling? And because your 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 thought process is focused on an end result, and you can already feel the result coming right now. You feel it. You it, it's it's already done. And that's the other thing before we um before we end this. Life is so beautiful. Life is a, it's a, it's like a gift. And I know that sounds cliche. No, I get it. I know it sounds cliche. However, life, our lives are almost, it's, it's, this is the way I'll explain it. There exists a, space you maybe you've heard the expression that you're taking up space right so if you can imagine there is a bowl or a space where all of the good that we individually desire is filling up this space. It's going into this proverbial bowl, if you will. Uh, every good thought, bam, it goes into that space. Every good idea, bam, it goes into that space. Every good feeling, boom, it's just filling it up. And we're all collectively contributing to that space, right? Different times. Maybe it's the same time. However, the beautiful thing is that when we start to appreciate that this space exists, this unlimited good, right? This source of unlimited good, this source of unlimited rich ideas, this source of abundance, this source of prosperity. When we begin to, to recognize that not only does this place exist, we can access it. And not only can we access it, but we are the, the ultimate guard, right? You're the guard for this space and the good that is held in that space. You are the liaison. You must give yourself permission to access that space. And you do this through your thoughts, and you do this through your feelings. And if for whatever reason, you don't believe that you deserve a certain thing, you, if you don't believe that you deserve success with Forex, if you're constantly beating yourself up with your past errors, if you're constantly focusing on what I, I keep, I keep ah, ah, like really just not giving yourself the, the room to say, it's working, it's all coming together. No matter how many negative trades I've closed out personally, keeping that expectation, it's all coming together. This is all a part of it, right? Focusing on the desired results, saying, you know what? I don't know. This may feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I know it's going to work out in my good, right? It's sending that, that good thought out constantly, recognizing that the moment that you decide that you deserve access to that space, is a beautiful moment and you'll be uh, exposed to all of the good that you've been storing up for yourself right and that other people have been storing up for you in a sense and so i said that to say that every good thing that you desire is already currently yours uh, it's just a matter of combining the right thought and the right frequency and the right feelings, vibrations, um, decisions, right? All of those things. It's a matter of just combining all of those things to permit access. And I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up with saying this. Um, Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret. Earl Nightingale says that we or you become what you think about most of the time. 
Now, studies have been done on how many thoughts we have individually in a day. I know that number is super high, so I don't even want to attempt to, to, to guess what the number is. However, what is it that you're thinking about as it relates to your trading? What is it that you are thinking about most of the time? And I encourage you, if most of the time you're focused on a, a negative or non-supportive idea about your goals and about your progress, you will continue to attract more of that in your experience. And it's until you make the shift to say, you know what, one, I deserve this, right? I've worked for this. I am worthy of having the success that I desire, right? I know that I can make this happen. And if you begin to think most of the time about you being a successful trader, that's why we go through those declarations is because of the power of words and the power that anytime you speak a word and you inject feeling that travels to the part of your mind and to that space that can bring about the things that you desire in in an incredible amount of time right in a an incredible amount of time that in some cases is surreal um i always think about um i love napoleon hill thinking grow rich and he said one important thing is um when money begins to come it comes in such huge abundance and and uh, such a speed where one asks themselves where has it been all these lean years and so that's almost the um the whole idea for today is just when you plant a seed and your thoughts are seeds when you plant a seed you tend to get back uh, the harvest tenfold, right? Twentyfold, hundredfold. So if we're planting seeds that are not supportive of who we see ourselves as ultimately, if you're planting seeds of lack or you're planting seeds of desperation or you're planting seeds of defeat or if you're planting seeds of um, of loss, you'll continue to get that back in your harvest tenfold. And it's up to you to replace those seeds with thought of plenty, with thought of prosperous ideas, with thought of rich ideas, with the thought of deservingness of success, with the thought that whatever you desire is rightfully yours. Any desire that you have was given to you for a reason. And it is up to you to decide if, uh, if and, and uh, should that come into your life. And the challenge for you guys is to really, um, to really consider what we're aware of as it relates to what we desire, right? and to really consider our thoughts and say any even before you put on a trade when you, when you put on a trade what are you thinking that's why i love the idea of having a journal because it's like okay you can write down your thoughts you can write down your feelings you can write down your emotions and seeing them on paper going back to seeing the plane being able to look at them from a different perspective allows you to modify that computer to modify the programming right and if, if I've learned anything and I, that I'm I continue to learn, I want to continue to learn it, is that we can program our minds the same way we can program a computer. Um, and we do that through repetition and we do that through our senses, touch, feel, taste, smell, um, hearing, right? And because we have the responsibility we also have the joy in knowing that when the fruits show up, it's by law. It's not a miracle. It's because you work the law. The law was already working. You just started to work with it in a way that was more supportive to your desired, 
your desired uh, result, right? And so the attractive trader recognizes that the results that I get in my trading are a result of the thoughts that I keep about my trading. And um, that's the alarm. So I got to, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> But uh, I hope that you guys can really consider, let me, hold on, let me pause this real quick because I want to turn it off. I'm not done yet. Hold on. All right, guys, my bad. Uh, I have an alarm set up and just to make sure we're, I'm respecting your guys' time and that was downstairs. So, uh, but yeah, so that's the thought I want to leave you guys with is just consider what it is that you're thinking and consider what it is that you are feeling. Um, and a hack, right? is to understand that whatever you desire, if you focus on the feeling of said desire, whether it be a new car or a winning trade uh, or a trading account with a certain amount, if you focus on the feeling that you would get from having achieved this desire, it will bring it to you quicker, right? It will bring it to you quicker. Now, um, as we go through this, this series, there are scientific ways, studies that have been done on how, quote unquote, how to, how to do this and how to use um, certain concepts to make it work better and all of that. So we will continue to unfold this because I do believe that our collectively um, coming together, when we harmonize in a thought, your success is also being mixed in that space, right? With, with everyone else that's on this line. And because of that, it's just creating this ginormous gumbo soup, delicious soup that one day we will all have our individual bowls of. And so because of that, uh, I do believe that as a family group, it's important to understand that there are laws, natural laws that can deliver us the results that we desire if we know about, right? If we use them um, or believe them, or like I said, you don't have to believe it. It's just a matter of knowing how to use it and then knowing how to align yourself and knowing how to be in harmony with the good that you desire. So, um, I hope that this week, when you guys are trading, you really pay attention to the thoughts that you're thinking um, and, and the feelings that you're experiencing, because in those, it will reveal to you why things are happening the way that they are. And I'm not saying that in just exclusively a negative way. Uh, I'm saying that in a positive way as well. And if you're feeling confident, think about it. You tend those those trades that you feel really really strongly about you tend to win those more often right you tend to or you tend to be able to manage your quote unquote emotions while you're in the trade better right so uh i won't hold you guys any longer just consider that i am an attractive trader right that's that's more so the declaration that i would leave you guys with i am an attractive trader and um, by focusing on the feeling or the desired outcome, when you send out that vibration, when you send out your, ma your magnetic power, the universe is asking you anyway, what is it that you want? And it's up to you to give yourself permission to access the space that holds the good that you, you desire. 
So I appreciate you guys for joining me and I appreciate uh, the participation and the, 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 uh, the attention. And with that being said, we'll make sure that this is uploaded and ready to go. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. This could be the best week that you've ever had. Right? This could be the best week that you've ever had. And it starts with just having the correct, correct mindset and the correct belief and, and the correct thoughts, vibrations, frequencies. So I wish you guys nothing but success this week. And if you guys need anything or if you need a, a, a personal session or anything like that, let me know. Don't hesitate to reach out to me because I'm available to you guys. Uh, and that's why we're here. So uh, again, appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace, peace, peace.